Hello, it's Jen Bengel here from Out of This World Literacy. The last few days I gave you 10 signs to watch for if students are struggling with oral reading fluency and silent reading fluency. If you missed episodes 69 and 70, go back and check them out. Not only is it important to notice when readers struggle with fluency, it's equally important to pay attention to when they are when they are mastering fluency. This means they may be ready for a more challenging level of text or content. This is true with both oral reading and during silent reading time. Today I'm going to go over six signs students are reading with a strong fluency while they are reading silently. You may notice these habits during their independent reading time, during a guided reading group, or anytime students are reading silently. Take a minute and look for the signs in your students and that will tell you that they're probably ready for a more challenging text. Number one, the student's eyes are tracking the print in a way that seems natural to reading. So pay attention, take a look at their face, really zoom in. Are their eyes focusing on the text in a way that seems natural to them reading? Are they going across the page in a way that's natural and are they going across the page in a rate that seems appropriate to what they're reading? Or is it really fast or really slow? Number two, the reader's eyes move smoothly over the print, not too fast where it's obvious that they're just skimming the words, but not too slow where it appears that they're struggling to read the words automatically. Number three, the reader proce- the readers process the text in an appropriate amount of time. If you expected that they should finish reading the book silently in 10 minutes and they do, that's a good sign. This is something to pay attention to during silent reading and guided reading. Ask yourself, did every student in the group read the assigned portion of the text at at least once in the time that I allotted for them. That's a good sign. Number four, after reading, the reader can talk about language from the text that was memorable and that stood out to them. So they don't have any problem talking about the language that was in the text. Number five, the reader can recall lots of dialogue and what the characters said while they were reading silently. So they can go back and quote characters and what they said. They have all of that down pat. That means that they were reading with really good fluency and were able to pay attention a lot to the meaning of the text. Number six, the reader can easily reference the text and find evidence to support facts and opinions during a discussion after reading, whether it's in a guided reading group, with a partner, in a literature circle, however they're having a conversation after silent reading, they have no problem talking about the meaning in the text. I hope this little cheat sheet of things to notice helps you with assessing the silent reading fluency needs and abilities of your students. If you see them having all of these six signs mastered, try them out at a more challenging text. If you're listening live, I am hosting a brand new free live training on reading fluency. Visit jenbenglewebinars.com to register for that live training. It's been my pleasure chatting with you today. Know that I'm the biggest fan of the work that you and your students are doing in the classroom. If you'd like more teaching tips, you can check out outofthisworldliteracy.com. Until next time, you've got this.